Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. I'm gonna be testing out the new Natural Radiant Foundation from NARS, and then I'm also gonna be testing out a cult favorite, the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation, which is an older foundation from NARS. So we're going new against old, basically seeing the differences in the two foundations, seeing how the finishes compare, how the coverage compares. I have applied these foundations to my face, so you're gonna to have to keep on watching to see which one is which. I explain the two products, and then I will be applying them to one half of my face, and then I'll be doing a wear test to see how they wear as well so I'm gonna try to give you the most complete picture that I can and a really good review and comparison of these two products so if you end up liking this video hit that like button it helps me out a ton and if you could I would love it if you subscribe to my channel I am a student and a, just a makeup lover if you're interested in seeing how the two NARS foundations do head-to-head -head, then just keep on watching because the review is coming right up Let's get right into this wear test. I'm very interested to see how these two foundations compare. I have two samples here. I wasn't gonna go out and buy both foundations. Let me just go over what the two say on the Sephora website as far as what they are supposed to be for. So the new foundation that NARS came out with is this NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation, uh, which is the one here that I have. And I got it in the shade Punjab, which is the medium one. And it's a medium with golden peachy undertones. Had a little bit of a yellow undertone to it, so that I thought that would match my skin. There was kind of a large jump from something with a yellow undertone to something darker with a yellow undertone. As far as coverage, they say that this is a medium to full coverage foundation. It's interesting that they say for skin type that this is for sensitive, normal, dry, combination, and oily skin. So that pretty much covers the gamut there. It says the finish should be natural. And then the main difference between this one is that it's supposed to uh, last up to 16 hours of lightweight natural fade resistant wear and then going back to the sheer glow which is here I decided to test it in the exact same shade there are new shades of the natural radiant foundation but since Punjab was a good match for me in the natural radiant I decided to grab Punjab from sheer glow as well to see if it's the same to me it doesn't look as yellow it says it's a medium with golden peachy undertones just like it did before the coverage for the sheer glow is medium and sh to sheer so medium to sheer versus the full to medium. And then for skin type, for sheer glow, it only says normal and dry. Finish is supposed to be satin opposed to the natural finish of the new uh, Radiant Foundation. One difference that I am seeing while reading both foundation uh, descriptions is the new Naturally Radiant Foundation is oil-free. As far as price, they're very similar in price. In Canada, the sheer glow is $59. The Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation is $60. So $1 difference Canadian. So let's apply. I'm very excited. I have no foundation on my face. I've just prepped with my moisturizer that I use every day. And I've also used my Tarte Clean Slate Poreless Primer just on my nose area. We're gonna use this brand new beauty blender on both halves of our face. Obviously I'm gonna change uh, which side I use with each foundation. So let's do this. So we'll do the sheer glow on this half of my face and then we'll do the natural radiant foundation on this side of my face. So I just have my sample here. I didn't wanna buy these foundations again. Yeah, the sheer glow definitely like feels light, but it also is very smooth. I think because of that oil, the difference in having oil in it. But again, it feels very smooth and blendable but it might not offer the coverage that the other one does. So I did put quite a bit on. Let's try to blend this. Yeah, the Sheer Glow definitely blends super easily. So that's pretty much one layer of the foundation down. Definitely didn't cover a lot of my um, discoloration and redness. I haven't even got really over here at all, and I kind of scratched myself, so don't just ignore that. So I'm gonna apply more. And just so you guys know, again, my skin is combination with a very yellow undertone. So I pull very yellow and I normally would wear like an NC30 right now in MAC because I'm a little bit lighter. I have like a dry patch right here and it's like pretty clingy over there. Okay, let's try to blend this nose part. So what I did is I applied a little bit of more of my moisturizer on the side of my face. I didn't know if it was the foundation or if it's literally just me, but it was super super patchy and drying over there. So I'm gonna apply a little bit more to the forehead, a little bit more underneath my nose because it's still a little red. Apply that with my finger and a little bit more coverage on my chin. So that should that's pretty much two layers with a little bit of spot concealing, or not two layers, two, two applications, two light, light, light layers. 
and a little bit of spot concealing there. So that's the sheer glow side, guys. I don't love it. It's really clinging to dry patches up here, and then it's also just like not covering that well. So now I have the new Natural Radiant Foundation in my hand here, and I'm gonna do the exact same thing, applying to my face. Yeah, it feels so much more like water almost, like not in a bad way, like it doesn't feel like thin watery, it just feels like nice and like, oh, it feels like a moisturizer almost. So again, we're using our beauty blender, I'm using the clean side and just blending out this foundation. It's a little bit light for my skin tone. I would say it's lighter than this side, um, maybe because it offers more coverage. I think that might be also why, but it's blending out nicely. Yeah, it definitely looks lighter, but I think it might be because it's offering more coverage. And I'm just gonna blend it down my neck a little bit. It's actually a pretty good match for me though. It, the yellowy undertones are definitely there. Oh my gosh, that blended out so nicely, guys. That was so much easier than the sheer glow side. I had to apply more moisturizer on this side and it's still patchy and dry. And then this one applied smoothly and quite nicely. So that's one layer of foundation on this side and the coverage is so much better than this side. I wanna see if it can build up. So I'm gonna apply some more. Ooh. It definitely feels like this just spreads so much easier and I think a little will go a long way with this. Like I don't think you're gonna have to use as many pumps as you normally would have to. Okay, like even now, I dipped my finger in twice and now I have too much foundation so I'm gonna run it down my neck, I guess. I probably applied a little bit much to my nose area, but that's okay. It's for the purpose of this video. Okay guys, this is crazy. I think this is like a great comparison video because I think these two foundations need to be compared, especially if you like the sheer glow or you didn't like the sheer glow because this will tell you a lot. So this is the final foundation applied. I've let it dry just a little bit as well. So letting the foundation dry a little bit, this is the NARS Sheer Glow side, and then this is the Natural Radiant side. This side looks flawless and has a lot of coverage. Then this side is the Sheer Glow side, and as it's dried, it does look like my skin, which I like. However, I still have some redness here, 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 here. It scratched me there, so I just don't know. And then this dry patch on my forehead is not gone away. So I'm gonna go off camera, apply the rest of my makeup, come, on, come back on camera, and then we will do a wear test. Hey guys, so I'm back. I've applied all my makeup. For powder, I don't set underneath my eyes on a typical basis, but I do set a little bit of my forehead, just basically the very center, my nose, underneath my nose, and my chin. So that's what I do on a normal, oh sorry, and right beside my nose as well. That's everywhere that I apply setting powder, and I use my Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Medium. So I wanted to give this a fair shot and see how this wears with a little bit of setting powder. The sheer glow is supposed to be a satin finish, and I don't really get much of a satin finish. It looks more just like it looks fairly matte actually for being the sheer glow. And then the radiant uh, foundation that they just came out with is on this side is supposed to be a natural finish, which I would agree with. However, I would say like a natural, like borderline matte foundation. It doesn't look quite like my skin. It definitely looks like I'm wearing makeup, but definitely more coverage than the sheer side. Okay guys, so that's everything. It is 5.30. I'm gonna wear this right now for, let's go until at least 11.30, so at least six hours of wear. We'll see how this new foundation wears as opposed to the sheer glow and we'll compare and see which one we like better. I will see you guys in about six hours. Hey guys, so we are back for our final and only check-in today. And so let's see how they did. I zoomed you in so you can see a little bit better what I'm saying. So right here, uh, I would say the sheer glow has worn off a little bit more and also just like is emphasizing my pores and sinking into the pores more. This one is still sitting really well along here and my blush and bronzer, it looks really good on top of it. No shininess down here at all. And I wiped away a little bit of coverage under my nose, but I did wipe my nose a little bit, but I will say my nose is a little bit shiny and also my forehead but definitely more long wearing than the sheer glow side. So as far as the six hour wear test is concerned, I would definitely say that the NARS Radiant Foundation lasts a little bit longer than the sheer glow. The sheer glow looks like it's really hanging on for dear life and really needs more powder and needs to be touched up. And I never really ever got the coverage that I was really looking for with the sheer glow as opposed to the Radiant Foundation, which gave me really good coverage and it's still really good here. I would just say my problem areas, my T-zone and my nose are a little bit shiny, but 
I could just use a little bit more powder and dab and blot and it, I think it would look fine. So overall, do I think the new Radiant Foundation is going to last 16 hours? No. It may last 16 hours on someone with normal skin or maybe even dry skin, but on me being combination, not even oily, combination skin, who's veering toward dry because of the cold weather, it's not lasting more than six hours. Right here is when I would probably do a touch up. But overall, I do like the foundation. I don't think I'll be purchasing it. I don't think it's much better than my Milani foundation, which I mentioned in my previous wear test with the Maybelline. It's my current fave right now, and I don't think anything right now can beat it. But I hope this helped you decide if you are interested in either foundation. So that's all for me. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. The button is just down below. We'll love you forever. I hope you're having an amazing day or night wherever you are and I hope that I see you very soon in my next video.